The Guillotine Cartel. <laughs> Welcome, everybody, to the motherfucking guillotine cartel. Yeah. Ching! <laughs> I'm your host, Joey Solano, with a special guest. Amber Dexter Morgan, Aeon Primitive. Bang, bang, motherfucker. Yeah. The man, the myth, the legend is here. <laughs> Hell yeah. So how you doing, fam? Oh, I'm doing good, man. Doing good. Uh, you know, doing the family thing and uh, the music and art thing. <laughs> you know what I mean? Definitely, definitely yeah. a vet in the game here in Las Cruces, huh? Appreciate that. Yeah, I've been doing this for a little bit, man. I mean, on this scale, as far as uh, you know, social media and the influence that it has, you know, I've, we're really taking advantage of that as well as uh, you know, it's a learning process too because you know, technology changes so much that uh, you know, there's so much, so many avenues that you could travel for your creativity, your art, you know, your music. Definitely. So, d than it was back in the day. So it's it, uh. It's way, way more easier, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, when I when we were first doing our stuff when I was younger, uh, you know, 14, 15, 16, uh, you know, one, it was hard. I was the youngest in the crew, so it was hard to do if, if something was like at a bar or something. Right. Like it was hard just to get me in, you know what I mean? And even at that point, I mean, the rap scene here in Cruces wasn't well developed. So, um, you know, a lot of, a lot of <coughs> clubs and things were trying to hear you. You know what I mean? right. Unless you were country rock or Tejano or something. You know? <laughs> I remember one time in cruises, like rock bands were real prominent. Yeah, 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 <laughs> prominent. yeah. Yeah, you don't even really see that no more. I mean, there's a couple bands out there doing their thing. Uh, uh, but, uh, you know, I kind of miss that, man. I kind of miss dive bars. I kind of miss that type of vibe going to those. You know? Yeah, man. Uh, uh, those times, like, there was all kinds of them everywhere, huh? Yeah, yeah. It really did seem like for a minute there, there was just a lot going on. Musically, you know, for a little while, so right, yeah, hell yeah. I remember this one band, and I was a fucking kid, and uh, I've always kind of been in the music scene somewhat like a uh, music, uh, rock, hip hop, m mainly hip hop, you know, what I mean, that knew some rock bands, but I remember this one band called the New Mexican Erection, yeah, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, Liquid Cheese, Liquid Cheese, a dope Captain Juki, yeah, Cruces, Cruces band, yeah, there was a lot with a K. <laughs> yeah, yeah, the Cruces band. They sang oldies and stuff, right? Yeah. I remember yeah. my grandma had a tape of them, and I never really got into it when I was a kid, though, but I remember she had it. Yeah, yeah. Well, my cousin Joel, who owns a recording studio here, a lot of a lot of artists have recorded with him, a lot of hip-hop artists. Shout out, out to Joel Parker. Yeah, yeah, shout out to Joel. What bang, up, bang. And uh, uh, so a lot of these individuals I kind of met through him or knew through him, so... Yeah, he's a he's like a underground legend here in Las Cruces, huh? Yeah, yeah. Music well, wise, he it was just him and um, I want to say their name is the Brooks Brothers. Like yes, on only, Solano, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. remember that shit. They were like the only really two like major recording studios, oh, yeah. like professional recording studios here that I that I could think of off my head. It was off of Idaho, right? Mm-hmm. Yup. Damn. Yep. So yeah. So I remember all that, man. I remember that shit too. I've never been in that studio actually. I I think I've seen it once. We I think um, with the group that I was with it, that I started with a long time ago when we were shopping around, uh, we had looked at their studio, and uh, we're thinking about trying to record. I think we didn't because I think uh, I don't know if the pricing was kind of high for us at right. that time. Or and and honestly, they didn't really seem interested. You know, it was because of hip hop, right? Yeah, yeah. I think it was just that type of vibe we were getting. Excuse me, and we ended up going with um. My cousin Joel, and we did some tracks with him. I remember that, and uh, uh, so yeah, I thought that was you know what I mean. Was, and that was like one of my first like actual studio in studio recording experiences. So I thought that was really right. Cool. And that studio was definitely dope looking. Yeah, I mean yeah. the whole that was a whole night when I first walked in there, and I was like, I never knew Cruces had something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know that what I mean? That motherfucker was dope. And I then, remember back then too. There was one called Nasty Cactus, wasn't there? Maybe I'm not sure. I, I don't. Or like Griffin's that. egg or something. Something like that. Something yeah. weird. Yeah, I I don't I don't recall ever like going to them or like anything of that nature. But uh, uh, yeah, man. Shout out, shout out to all the early uh uh studio heads that were at least you know allowing people to express themselves uh, artistically. So definitely. Hell yeah. Definitely. Hell yeah. I remember um. We had a call. There was me and my homie Chava at the time. Uh, not the Chava like where everyone, not like the old school Chava. That everyone nah, knows. Side Chava. Uh, yeah, yeah. I know who you're talking about though. 
Yeah, he, uh, uh, we were him, and then um, me and him were trying to make music, and we called at every place. We didn't know about Joel Parker though. Okay. Until like we until like, way later. Oh. Okay. But we had called the Bo- the Brooks Brothers also, whatever they're called. Yeah. Yeah, and they didn't. They asked what kind of music we we're talking about doing, and told them we we're talking about doing. Uh, well, at the time it was gangster rap for us. You know <laughs> what I mean? Yeah, yeah. So we told them gangster rap, and they're all like, "Well, we don't usually do that. So we're just gonna uh, respectfully decline." They said. I remember yeah. that shit. I'm like, oh well. Fuck well, you my know, life. you know what? And and uh, uh, just to kind of in their defense, if if you have a recording studio that's never really worked with. Uh, Hip hop artists. The truth is, they don't know. You know, like certain people have a certain ear for a type of music. Definitely. You know what I mean, so and and uh, if if you're somebody who's never worked with a hip hop artist, and so you don't you don't have an ear for that sound. Yeah, they all I know could, exactly. Yeah, I could see. I could see where they could. You know what I mean? Because you know, at least when you're in a comfortable position, when you're working with somebody who uh, does hip hop or does the type of music you do. You, you you feel that kind of that connection that back and forth you could bounce right, ideas right, right. you could be like hey man at this point you should do this or at, yeah hey, or man, I don't know if that'll sound yeah, yeah, good or, or whatever on the beat, you should tweak this but if, if if that is literally a sound that you're not familiar with it's definitely yeah, I can hard respect, you know yeah. being like bro I've never done that but, hey that's cool you know what I mean what's really hard for me to do actually as an engineer is like freaking a uh, gospel like that real belting Really, 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 uh, just like pushing everything out, kind of, yeah, uh, freaking. Uh, I call it, I, I say it's gospel because the only time I had that heart of recording with gospel singers and they just start, Whoa! oh, yeah, it's uh, like, oh, uh, shit. Uh, a good friend of mine, uh, and fellow artist Missy Pate. Oh, yeah, yeah she's yeah. fucking dope, Yo, bro. She has a really she... strong sound, yeah, yeah, really strong sound. And uh, that, that I always tell her, man, you have uh, your, your, your voice. As a is very like has a very gospel sound, the way she belts. Yeah, you know that I mean? belting. The way yeah, she sings, and I think that's really dope too. You know what I mean? She is amazing, actually. She does real well. Yeah, yeah. She's actually getting into beat making. Shout out to Missy Pate. Get the she, fuck <laughs> out of here. Yeah, she. Uh, I I spoke with her recently, man, and she's got a little, little, little setup. You know what I mean? You know, and, and where she's it starts. messing around. Yeah, it's where it so, starts. So hell yeah, hell yeah. You know Shout I mean? out to Missy fucking Pate. Yeah. We need more female producers that are dope. Anyway. Yeah, that's that's what I think is tripped out, man. The game doesn't have a lot of female producers and even then uh female artists unfortunately are still kind of underrated you know what i mean we you know and and there's a lot of dope female vocalists there's a lot of dope female MCs rappers yeah, yeah that that i feel don't get the shine that you know their male counterparts in uh music do you know what i mean so that's for sure shouts out to all the female artists don't stop don't let them tell you you can't do it do that shit word up what which one is uh what which one are you listening to right now? Oh man, uh uh who do I like but nowadays? I'm not a fan of like the Cardi B's and all that stuff. Not nothing, even nothing against them. It's just, you know, like I, I like like Sarah. Have you ever heard her? I don't think so. She's dope and um No, I haven't actually. Yeah, yeah, she's a dope artist, so I've been vibing on, on her stuff. Uh Rhapsody. Uh, oh yeah, Rhapsody's dope. Rhapsody's dope. Um uh, I'm trying to think of the other uh, Tierra Whack. I like Tierra Whack. I think uh, she's a. Uh, I don't know. I I say she's like a doper version of Missy Elliott. Nothing against Missy Elliott, but like. Oh, that's that one yeah. you turned me on to, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that yeah, video yeah. was fucking mm-hmm. dope, bro. Yeah, and her videos, her artistic approach in her songs is really dope. Yeah, so oh, she's yeah. like a, uh, like a new age, more kind of gutter, or yeah. what do you call it? I don't know, man. Not it's, so, uh, it's, yeah, it's. I mean, she she reminds me of like, you know, uh, Missy Elliott with a little bit of maybe some Tyler the Creator type vibe. That fucker is weird. You know what I mean? He's yeah, he's a but he but he he's dope, man. He makes dope beats and he he makes some dope tracks. And I mean, I I may not, you know, vibe with a lot of the shit that he be talking about or a lot of the stuff that he be doing, but uh, to give him his praise, do. He does make some pretty dope shit. You know, you know I haven't mean? really heard him too much. I've I, I've seen him in a few. And I remember who the fuck was he beefing with? He was he was beefing with somebody. And then I started uh, listening to him from yeah. there, and I was like, I don't know if I dig this cat. Yeah, um, well, you got to hear him with Odd uh, uh, Odd Future. I think he really shines uh, when they do stuff. And you know, a lot of the a lot of the stuff a lot of these new artists be doing either the clout chase or excuse me troll. Uh, 